Brilliant. Daryl, thanks for speaking to us. Uh, first of all, how how do you sort of assess now? You've had a couple of days to think about it, looking back at your first game in charge. Yeah, obviously watched the watched the game back, and to be fair, I'm similar of opinion really. It was a scrappy bit of a game. First half, not a lot in it. Uh, we looked we looked organised at times. Great chance first half. Um, looked a little bit suspect at set pieces. What we've got to tidy up. Uh, got to be a bit neater with our with our play with the ball. But effort and commitment was great. Second half opened up a little bit more. Later on, it causes a few problems. We've we've had a couple of great crosses in the box. Hit the crossbar on one. Obviously, a great finish by Wazza. So, in all, probably a draw, fair, fair result. So, we, we, we try and build on that. Uh, Guthrie and Rodney up front, an exciting partnership. Is that something that pleased you, something new? Yeah, they did They did quite well. Guthrie won a, a lot of first contacts, which is important with his size. And uh, Devante, although he tired a lot, um, cramping up a little bit at the end, so we've got to be, be a little bit careful with Devante. But uh, they linked well at times. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm obviously looking as, as we go along for, for better performances, but making sure the commitment and desire, which should be a given, that sometimes isn't a given, but it needs to be a given, certainly when I'm in charge. We need to make sure that's right, and then we, we raise the quality stakes, which we which we obviously need to do. And Adam Crooks has spent a lot of time out of the team this season. You brought him in. How big a role could he play between now and the end of the season for you? So, you know, Crooks he's, Crooks has done a good job. What I've asked him to do against Conor Wilkinson, who's a dangerous player at, uh, at Leighton Orient, scores goals from there. He's a number nine playing out there. So, in this specific game, Crooks has uh, done a good job, I and mean, I thought he kept him quiet relatively for a, for a lot of the game. So. Uh, on, on first impressions, he's had a good game. So uh, that was pleasing. Is it difficult in this early time in charge for you, though, that you've not got a particular amount of time to work with the players on the training pitch? You know, a lot of home games, a couple of home games this week. Yeah, I mean, obviously, sometimes you'd like a week to plan, but you just adapt, uh, adapt along the way. So you just got to crack on. It's loads of games. Every team's got the same. Obviously, it's different for me coming into a new group. But like I said, we keep working away, chipping away, getting the bits and pieces. You can't can't change things massively overnight, to be honest with you, but getting to obviously know the players' strengths and weaknesses a lot better. But, uh, the attitude has been absolutely spot on since I've been in the building, as you'd expect with a lot of players out of contract at the end of the season. A lot of players got to perform to, to want to be part of what I'm trying to build here. So uh, as you'd expect, really, to be honest. How big a thing could rotation be for you? rotation, looking at one or two different things massively, but we've got to get winning games as well, obviously, because we're not in a great position. So I don't think we can uh, mass that up, to be honest with you. So getting the balance right, but certainly want to want to have a good look at the squad, what, what's in, like I keep saying to my players, be, be part of the journey that we want to try and build from here, from when I came in the door. And players will get that opportunities uh, with the amount of games they've got. Some will get more than others, but that's football. So they'll, they'll all be assessed on a, on a day-to-day basis. How do you view the situation the team's in? What do you mean? What, in terms of in terms of the table, looking at you know you're you're in, you're quite far away from the playoffs, but also quite away far away from the, yeah, the bottom well, I'm, two. I'm half full. I mean, for me, we want to be climbing the table. Obviously, uh, we're not in a great position, so there's no paper over those cracks. That's for sure. So we've got to get some wins on the board, but we want to win every game, and that that starts Tuesday night against Stephen. So a chance to chance to get three points. So against a team that's picked up seven out of the last 12, certainly picked up this side of the, this year. So, uh, tough, tough task, but looking forward to, to uh, starting my uh, manager career at home. And these players have had a lot of success at home, Fed say, in the last sort of two years or so. So, maybe not as much this season, but you'd be hoping to try and make Vail Park a fortress. I don't think we've gone up a division if we've done that well at home. <laughs> so, uh, no, listen, we... Any successful team has a strong home form, doesn't it? So, obviously, you know, the platform that's built, if you can win, you know, 10, 15, between 12 and 15 of your own game, shall we say, in the season, you're in, you're in a good place. So, uh, home form's vital. I think this season, more than any, with no fans in, it hasn't made a difference, that much of a difference playing home and away, to be honest with you. So, but home form's always key. How hard is it to strike a balance? You talked about wanting to try a few things, but also the points on the board. So how do you strike that balance between that? Yeah, uh, I think 
like our manager, really, to be honest, look at the next team that comes up, look at the, the best 11 that can, I think, that can play against that team in, in different different sort of ways, to be honest with you, but also taking into account that one or two players don't look as fit as they could be or should be, if I'm honest. So there's a lot of things that, that come into play when, when picking a starting 11 and making the tweaks of, of what needs to be done, but also making sure that the, the wholesale changes doesn't, doesn't sort of bamboozle them too much, but but looking at different things because at the end of the day, we're 19th in League Two, aren't we? Over the course of the season, playing playing the same system, you know, you've seen Saturday that we went to a had a look at a four four two to start the game, isn't it? And then changed after the when Wazza came off. So there'll be a bit of flexibility in the decisions I make on the on the formation, just to have a look at one or two things. But it'll always be the end goal in sight, and that's to win football matches. So it's not a case of tinkering and messing about with things too much is about winning the next game, the, the next project. And you mentioned already a little bit about the the, the players and the, the system they may be brought for. So how much are you asking them to perhaps become more flexible between now and the end of the season to meet yeah, what you do? You know, they, they might have been brought into this system, but I guarantee you that the other players at other clubs, our players at other clubs would have played different systems. You know, the professional footballers, so you, you should pick things up pretty quick. Uh, you're hoping they pick up things, things up, pick things up, shall we say, pretty quickly. I think the four four two Saturday worked well against the uh, Orient to a certain extent in the for the first 50, 55 minutes, albeit not not creating too much. But uh, it was a little different front line of, like you said, Guthrie and Rodney, big bigger presence. So uh, yeah, there'll be there'll be different things as we go along the way, trying to get that winning formula. 